Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another coaster spotlight contest edition. Today is gonna be a big doozy of an episode with four quadruple dueling coasters of various styles. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're doing well today. We're getting right on into things with, with the last airbender, Battle of the Four Nations, created by Smiling Gal 333 And here she says, the quadruple dueling coasters inspired by the cartoon series, Avatar the Last Airbender. Right along the Four Nations, Air Nomads, Fire Nation, Earth Kingdom, and the Water Tribes, as they battle it out using the el bender elements. There are some Easter eggs to find if you have time, a host of your own, and some special quotes by Ira. Uh, but Johnny, there's a special, special one just for you. Find the app of the flying bison and with bugle and I ducting you. Evil laugh. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's so many people to thank for helping me with this creation and there's mentioned and there'll be links on the workshop page Most of all, thank you Johnny and Channel 5 Gaming for hosting this contest again I grew up. Uh, I grew so much creating this appreciate you and your channel and all those dis in discord and your viewers I hope you have a fun experience peace love and blessed be smiling gal 333 Aw, and she says all at night earth kingdom seat one fire nation seat six water tribe seat eight and nomad seat two Hmm, that's a lot of front seat for dueling. We'll have to see about that. So she said all at night, but the day sequencer is just going around and around. I've had it change on me a few times. We'll have to see. All at night, eh? That's quite ambitious. I do like seeing the scenery of things at daytime a lot. So here we go. Battle of the Nations. Cool, cool. So how do we get in? Oh, we get in the queues here. She said look for Easter eggs, though. And I don't know where I should be doing that. I guess we're gonna have to save it to last, but I have a feeling I might be exhausted by the end of this. I am getting like 20 FPS. There are so many theme maker toolkit items in here. It took me like an hour to load this park. Amori's hideaway. How is this an Easter egg? I don't know what that says. She hides in a cave and a happy face. <laughs> Enigmandra, she's in a box. Okay, said something about looking for an airship, red dragon. So they're just signs. I guess a sign can be an Easter egg. It, mo it seems more like a shout out, doesn't it? Johnny's dad? Why my dad? You don't want to know about him. Oh, smiling gas hideaway. That's going. Okay. <laughs> something about an airship. I'll have to read it again. And we'll look for it at the very, very end. But let's get on one of these coasters. Looks like they're based on their flags. So this is the Water Tribe. So we'll start things off with the Water Tribe. I said all at nighttime. So let's see about that. Ooh, super heavy on the FPS. And that's the thing about Theme Maker Toolkit is while I'm getting up to 24 FPS sometimes, it's running worse than the Avatar Park that I was getting 11 FPS at. There's something about it where it's very hitchy and heavy, where it's it, the FPS does not reflect the um, the weight that's put on the camera. Okay, well, hopefully I can time these okay here, and we only have to wait for the very first one. Holy moly, look at those stats. A water coaster with uh, seven vertical and seven lateral Gs. The guests won't even ride it. Uh-oh. Well, we're gonna give it a go anyways. I'll cut to it when it's ready. And what did she ask for? Water Tribe Seat 8. We'll see how that looks when it gets here. I think there's gonna be too many dummies in the way. It is in test mode, isn't it? Let's see. I honestly feel like seat eight still works if we go look forward, right? Yeah, I'm going with this. Yeah, I would especially think you would want daytime for the water one because none of the water effects show up at nighttime Very interesting Nonetheless, that's what the creator wanted. So that's what we're doing
ho, ho, ho. Okay, I want to talk about the water coaster really quickly before we move on to the other ones because there's a few things that I wanted to mention and I'm definitely going to forget by the time we, we get through the other ones. So I, I do appreciate the water elements such as the tracks that you've put in. However, they were so spread out that they didn't quite connect with the track at all. Really, you can see that. And I can see what you're going for there. It just doesn't quite work uh, because of the steepness of each coaster versus the river rapids don't really quite match. And with that, when it hits the water, you should use those special effects, right? So that there's big splashes happening when we hit each part. And then there's one spot in particular where I thought it was really interesting that you decided to hit the trim brakes here, when instead I would have gone with the water splash. So you hit the water and then you coast on in and then you go up the lift. So the water splash would have worked a lot better there in my opinion. And yeah, other than that, I think that's my feedback for the water water coaster it is a little bit extreme it was hard to see the dueling elements uh, it was doing a lot of its own thing rather than a lot of the battling but maybe it'll be different for the other experiences so let's move on to the next one which is going to be the earth kingdom head on through this queue also is there no yeah there's no guest in the park uh, well, it's probably a good thing at this point, but you probably could have let in just enough to ride the coasters, but it's already taken such an FPS hit that it's probably a decent idea to go into test mode anyways, even though they're open. Another one that exceeds the G-force limits, nine vertical G, six lateral. Pretty insane stats on this, five negative. My goodness gracious. So for this guy, I think what we'll do, uh, a lot of people request that we go to the back of the train for these RMCs. Let's go.
All right, quite a different experience from that of the water. They're they're almost like two different coasters entirely, which is it could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on the eyes of the viewer. Um, I wanted to see the track length: thirty three hundred plus thirty two, so we're at sixty five, ninety seven, twelve thousand eight hundred or yeah, twelve thousand eight hundred meters of track. So by far the longest amount of track out of any of the coasters in the contest so far, which is uh, absolutely nuts. But in some cases, does it count because of the G-Force limits are exceeding um, the ride factor, which was one of our rules that the guests do have to be able to ride your coasters and they won't once this notification comes up. So it's a little bit extreme. And my feedback for the RMC in particular, before we move on, oh my goodness. I don't even think it is an RMC. It's a wooden gnarler. How did I mix that up? I keep mixing them up lately. I feel like there's something different about them. No, because it has the has the train of the RMC. Can you swap those out now? You can. Iron Fury Steel Top. <laughs> okay, well, that's interesting. Um, so, yeah, I've said this many, many times before in the previous brackets. Just be sure to keep an eye on your uh, G-forces. When things start to get into the heavy, heavy purple, you might want to reconsider smoothing the drops or making them less steep or bringing them back up, uh, that sort of thing. So there's some pretty heavy, hot and heavy purple areas where the coaster was going so fast and whipping around some of this thing just insanely quick that it made it hard to enjoy. And the same thing could be said with your laterals. They were getting pretty heavy in some areas. The laterals are better than the verticals for sure, but it also showed that in the test results. But the laterals shouldn't really be going over three G-forces and the verticals shouldn't really be going much over five. So keep, keep an eye on those statistics on your heat map specifically to gauge how enjoyable your coaster will be from a viewer's perspective in the future, a smiling gal. Okay, so definitely a big episode. I'm definitely gonna need a break after this one. We have, uh, <laughs> This is gonna be a long one. Uh, where's the other coaster entrances? I'm looking for another flag. There we go. The Air Nomads. So I'm assuming this is probably gonna be a flying coaster or maybe an inverted coaster. One thing it is, I noticed that there was some dueling elements, but not a whole lot compared to the other submissions throughout this contest. And when they do, they are dueling, they're not really interacting with the other three nations as much as they are just one of them. I noticed with the Earth one, we were kind of battling fire, same with the water, but I didn't really notice the other nations as much. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. So another one that exceeds the G-Force limits. So yeah, definitely same feedback there. And we have a uh, suspended looping coaster mind melt. I think for this one, we'll just uh, we'll just sit in the seat view. Actually, what did she ask for? For the Air Nomad seat too. Okay, we'll do that.
<laughs> we made it! <laughs> Man, those are long coasters. Almost to a fault, I would say, but we'll talk about it in the end. Uh, there's a lot to go through. One more coaster. Again, uh, exceeds the G-Force limits. Keep an eye on those G-Forces. So this is the very last one, the Fire Nation. And uh, we'll uh, do, I think, back of the train again for this one.
<laughs> okay, let's find this Easter egg real quick before we talk about things. Uh, something about Bajani. There's a special, special one just for you. Find Appa the Flying Bison with Bugle and I abducting you. Evil laugh. Okay. How about the Flying Bison? What is a Flying Bison? Is this a Flying Bison? Is there like one of these in particular that I'm supposed to find? So I've checked all the bison. Oh, maybe not. Is this the last one? Is that me? Am I like a kite? What is this? Building 11. I don't know. I really don't know. I've checked all the bison. At least I think I have. I don't see anyone abducting me. So apparently one of them is supposed to abduct me. Is that the Easter egg? <laughs> if you saw it or if you can find it, let me know down in the comments. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about the coaster though. Or the coasters. 12,800 meters of track. Definitely a world record there, but they're all exceeding the G-forces. And I think the pacing is the biggest thing that you need to watch here, Smiling Gal. There's so many points where it takes like, I don't know, three minutes to get over these wheels. All just going in one direction with the music just blaring. And then suddenly it's like, Hoosh! we go from zero to 100, just Hoosh! And then we're just And then it stops and we're up a lift again and it's just like whoa what just happened to me? I just feel like I got coaster raped <laughs> It's like there's no easing between like the there's no melody. It's not like a, a back-and-forth thing it's extremely slow or extreme and I feel like that pacing just needs to be thought out a little bit more. With that, I th said, what you've done here, there's a lot of good elements, there's a lot of fun elements, there's a lot of detail, there's a lot of polish, I, th I think there's some elements that are really fun and I could definitely see that you put the full two months into this, but then there's areas that are just feeling a little bit bland and incompleted. And that's because you went too ambitious. What is the need for 12,000 meters of coaster track to tell your airbender story? I think if you would have made each one of the coasters, like let's say a thousand or 2000 meters at the most, but it probably a thousand, fifteen hundred meters per coaster. You could have come compacted and condensed all this a little bit more, shrinking the areas a little bit better, not having to have such crazy chaotic battles for such long times or really slow drive wheels. You could have brought it all together and compact it in such a way that each one of the experience was quick to the point, but also unique and themed well. And with that, like there are some really fun themed areas where you have all these theme maker toolkit items and little battles between them and temples and all sorts of different things. And with that, the transition from one to the next wouldn't be like three minutes. It, you know, it would just go from one to the next to the next, back to the station and boom, that's the airbender. And like you, it would give you a little bit more room to uh, do these unique things where the water feels different than the air without struggling with having to get those elements across, you know, 4,000 meters of coaster track. It would allow you to condense it all in a, in a manner that you're not uh, trying to create something that's so big with so many parts that you're ended up with like, you know, 14 FPS and the entire two months to work on it. I think uh, it's not doing you any favors by creating this much track. And I, th I also think if you would have reduced it as much as possible, like I said, a thousand meters per coaster, condensing all the environmental assets, sometimes you get that feeling that it's more immersive because it's all brought in together. It's not separated by these big, long segments. And in some cases that less is more argument comes into play where I think it would have brought it all together into more of a cohesive world and you wouldn't have to deal with so many coaster elements to the point where it becomes impossible to smooth this much track and maintain those g-forces while also keeping them battling and synchronized and all that. I do like feel there was also a lacking of the battles between the coasters. There were some but when you're doing four I want to see a little bit more than that especially when you're doing 12,000 meters of track. However on the flip side I think out of all the coasters in the contest so far, these ones were the most distinct in their own way. I felt the Water Nation areas were unique to their own experience. Same with the Fire, Earth, and uh, whatever the other one was air yeah they were they were all they were all different in their own way maybe too much different they were four different exploration coaster experiences all in one this is essentially like exploration coaster contest times four <laughs> it's a it's a lot and it's a lot to bite off to create so pretty uh 
heavy feedback from me i think my biggest point to you smiling gal would be try not to be so so ambitious for the next contest try to keep things a little bit more simple i know we gave you unlimited rules and then you just like let your creativity go and you just didn't know when to stop and it, that part of that uh, knowing when to stop is a very important thing trying to plan things out and trying to uh, decide how much do you actually need in order to create a fun experience start to finish leaving you wanting more and excited for the next coaster so i think the dueling coaster contest uh, you you looked at it more of as an exploration coaster contest and just made four exploration coasters <laughs> where i think the the whole point of the dueling coaster contest was to create smaller creations because you have two coasters or four to focus on i mean props to you for creating this much track and this much theming not an easy feat at all so i still take my hat off to you smiling gal on a uh, tremendous effort here and a lot of content gone into this but in the future try to keep things a little bit smaller i would say and see how that fares you really focus on making sure your coaster g-forces are good keep an eye on your heat maps for each of your coasters i think from there you'll find it's a little bit easier to get your creation done in the timeline given because this definitely would have taken a long time so i still appreciate all of your effort and time gone into this and i think there's some really wonderful elements throughout the creation itself but with the amount that you create the amount you have to refine and you don't want to give yourself more than you can chew sort of speak okay well that's all my feedback what did you guys think leave your comments down below for smiling gal 333 and that's going to do it for me in today's episode ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next contest submission bye now